Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D. I'm here to give you the live news, and it seems like we got Kyrie Irving apologizing again. I mean, this is like his fifth, hundred, tenth, thousand time apologizing. So I guess in order for him to play, it seems like he's at the stadium. Well, I don't know if he's at the stadium, but it looks like he's at the press, press conference of the Brooklyn Nets. And I was watching a little bit of it, and it looks like he was crying. I'm like, no, Kyrie, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't break down. But, I mean, who knows, man? Who knows, man? He's, 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 he's probably going through a lot of things right now. So, you know, uh, this may be wearing down on him. But let's uh, watch this video um, that was posted on ES, that was posted on NB, NBA ESPN just a couple of hours ago. So this is a brand new apology, not the apology that I posted earlier. This is a, a whole nother apology. God, why are they, why they making this man apologize so damn much, man? This is getting annoying right here, but let's um let's listen to it. Can we all can share space today because uh, this is a moment in history uh, that I'm gonna remember forever. Just because of the impact that um, all this has made on our, our world, uh, cultures, not only just here in America, but abroad. Um, and right now we're just here to. Uh, oh, shit. Is he crying or is, does he have sinuses? Oh, man. Come on, Kyrie, man. Don't. Come on, man. Don't let him break you like that, man. Damn. Take this effort to make a more equal world, more fair world. Uh, we're all here to take it up in arms, I pray, and I hope. Because it's not just a solo act for me to uh, try to take on the burdens of the world and change things. Um, and I just got to be aware of that. Uh, so uh, with all that being said, I just want to offer my uh, deep apologies to all those who are impacted. Uh, again? Oh, they're making this man apologize again, man. This is... Oh, this is... Oh. Uh, over these last few weeks, uh, specifically my uh, Jewish relatives, my black relatives, uh, you know, all races and cultures. I feel like we all felt the impact, and I don't stand for anything uh, close to hate speech or anti-Semitism or anything that is anti going against the human race. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like we all should have an opportunity to speak for ourselves uh, when things are assumed about us. And uh, I feel it was necessary for me to stand in this place and take accountability for my actions um, because there, there was a way I should have handled all this. Um, you know. Man, you ain't do nothing wrong, bro. You ain't do nothing wrong. All you did was just a freaking tweet. You reposted a... F Man, this is... Uh... As I look back and reflect, uh, when, I have, when I had the opportunity to offer my deep regrets to... You know, anyone that felt threatened or felt hurt. Uh, what I threatened? Threatened by what? Posting a link? Someone's life was threatened because, man, they, they need to stop this. Oh, this. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so annoyed right now, man. This is. Uh, fuck, man. I don't know how I feel about this. Post it. You know, that wasn't my intent at all. I meant no harm to any person, any group of people. And you already said this already, yeah, this bro. this is a big moment for me because I'm able to learn uh, throughout this process that the power of my voice is, is very it's strong. The influence that I have within my community is very strong. And I want to be responsible for that. Uh, in order to do that, uh, you have to admit when uh, you're wrong in, in instances where you hurt people and it impacts them. Uh, you know, and I just wanted to clarify some things as well on my end. Uh, you know, when I was searching up the documentary, I was just searching up my name and searching uh, for a deeper understanding of my heritage and where I come from. You already said this already. in the other interview. Uh, I named me that for a reason. Uh, and I'm here to take on, you know, this ongoing dialogue of where we need to go with this conversation. Uh, uh, not just the Jewish and black community, but all communities that want to see change in our world. So I'm just grateful that I, I'm able to uh, stand here, know that I'm supported and loved by uh, my family members, uh, all my friends because they know I represent something bigger out here in the world. And I'm a man of peace and I have integrity and I have sacred honor amongst all those that I'm around. Um, and we hold true this uh, peaceful oath to make sure that we're there for each other in times like this. So I'm grateful that I have a great supporting system. Thank 
Ah, uh, man, man, man. How do I feel about this? How do uh, fuck, man? Damn, hey, Kyrie. I guess they got what they wanted. I guess they got what they wanted. They wanted him to apologize a hundred thousand times. This is this hundred thousand times apologizing. He's literally just repeating himself over and over again because he said this not to. He said this yesterday in the interview that he had with that other person. Now they got him on him on ESPN with all these microphones and. I don't know if he's crying or not. I don't know. His his eyes look a little red. I don't know. He might have sinuses. I don't know. This is... Uh, I'm still rocking with Ky- Kyrie, man. It's just a little... It's a little disappointing. I'm not... It's, it's a little disappointing to, to see what the NBA got this man doing. Um, But I'm, I'm still rocking with Kyrie, though, man. Salute to Kyrie, man. Just stay strong and... I guess this is what they wanted, right? This is what they wanted Kyrie to do. They wanted him to look weak, to to fold and to abide by their rules. So I, I guess that's what they got. I mean, you know, I, I don't blame them, you know what I mean? Because half of us do this with not at, not as much money on the line, you know. Even though Kyrie's still rich, I mean, forty million dollars is forty million dollars, and then not only that, it's not like he's an old player, so he's he's still a young player. Well, not young, but he's still you know middle age, and he he still has a lot left to play. So, you know, uh, he has a lot at risk. Um, so I don't blame him. It's just. Uh, they got this man apologizing again. But anyway, man, y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. So it looks like Kyrie might be playing today. He's at the Brooklyn Nets press conference. And uh, I guess we got to sit back and see, man. But it's I, I ain't gonna lie, it's a little disappointing. I, I still rock with Kyrie, but it's just like, fuck, man, they got you out here again apologizing and then i don't know if his sinuses or i don't know he just looks sad man i don't don't like him looking sad like this in front of the whole world man it just fuck but i still rock with Kyrie, man suit to Kyrie. keep your head up my brother and uh y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this Kyrie uh apologizing again (sighs) i'm out y'all